It's Russell with Arkansas Drone Solutions. I was going to show you in a quick video how to use the DRTK2 mobile station, base station with the Phantom 4 remote to use it to mark points. So the first thing you want to do is put get a mobile hotspot or be connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to check on my app to see if it is. You can come in closer. So I'm going to check my Wi-Fi and I'm connected to my phone, so we're good there. So we want to turn the base station on. And we'll want to get, get it into mode three. So after it initializes, you'll want your right far button, the light on it to flash three times that you will be in mode three. If it's not, you can press and hold it. It'll move to mode two, press and hold it again. It'll move to mode three. So here in a second, we will see it flash. So we're in mode one right now, but it's not initialized all the way, so let's just make sure. Okay, so we'll press it again. It should flash twice. Press it again. And it should flash three times. Okay. Okay, so we're flashing three times. We're in mode three, so we're good on the base station. So now what we want to do is click the three dots or three lines on the left side of the screen, click on the copter, and then go into DRTK handheld stick. And we'll click on linking, handheld stick, walk with RTK network. So we want to choose the first one, hit OK, 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 just keep answering the questions. Now we want to go back up to the base station and press the linking button. Let me make sure I did it. All right, so now we back on the device. We show link successful, restarting the device. We'll click on done. We want to close that out. And then we'll go back to the app and go to fly. Okay, so what we want to do is connect to the RTK network. So I'm on the N-Trip network here. After we got a good connection, what we want to do is go back, click on DJI, back on plan, and we want to click walk with handheld RTK. So now you will see that we have measurements coming across elevations, lat longitude, latitude. And so we're ready to set a point. So what I will do is with the C2 button on the back of the remote, you can click. Oh, hold on. Set point. Current coordinate. Now, if I click C2 on the back, it'll mark that point. Then I can save it. So we got one part point mark. So I'm gonna move down here a little bit. Again, click C2. It's got point number two marked. We save that. And I'll go back over here. Mark a point. Again, save it. And then we'll do the fourth one over here. You need three hands to do this. Okay, so I had to wait because I went into float mode. Now it's fixed again. It wouldn't let me mark that point. So we're fixed. That's point four. We're ready to save it. Okay, I'll go back over here. So now if we want to save those, we click save and name it, just name it test two. And we've got four points marked on the map. So we're good to go. Now we can save those and use them in our processing software.